Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com. You know, earlier this week, either today or yesterday, apparently Floyd Mayweather made the statement, and I'm quoting here, according to news reports, Floyd Mayweather is not a cheater like Antonio Margarito and Manny Pacquiao. Hard work, hard work, hard work. You know, let me just say, this is a cheap statement. This statement really does cross the line. If Floyd Mayweather has concrete evidence and not speculation that Manny Pacquiao is cheating in the game of boxing in any way, performance enhancing drugs, blood doping, loaded gloves. If he has any evidence that Manny Pacquiao is cheating in the game of boxing, then Floyd Mayweather either has to present that evidence or stop with these comments that try to tie in Manny with Antonio Margarito, who was found to be wearing loaded hand wraps. Now, what I believe Floyd's game is, and Floyd, quite frankly, is one of the savvier athletes I've come across. What I believe Floyd's game is, is to come up with rehearsed lines like this. When he isn't even scheduled to fight either guy. He's fighting Miguel Cotto. He's not fighting Margarito, who, let's face it, he dodged in his prime. Nor is he fighting Manny Pacquiao, who he doesn't want to offer 50% to. Think about that one, right? His $40 million offer didn't even provide Pacquiao with a cut of the pay-per-view. And keep in mind, it's not the amount of the offer it's the percentage of the take. $40 million might sound like a lot of money to you and me, but it's not a lot of money when you know the take is $120 million. You know that you're responsible for a huge portion of that take, and you know that when you're getting 40, the other guy's making 80, right? Well, let me just say, that I believe this line is a rehearsed line. You know, Floyd Mayweather is not a cheater like Antonio Margarito and Manny Pacquiao. Floyd's not saying what the cheating is about, right? Sounds to me like he sat down with a lawyer to come up with this line. Because conceivably, if Margarito cheated on his taxes, or if Manny Pacquiao cheated on his taxes or cheated on his wife, right? Uh, if Manny has admitted to cheating in anything at any time in the past, then if you were to drag Floyd Mayweather in a court, Floyd could make the claim that when he referred to cheating here, he wasn't talking about cheating in boxing. That's how hard it is to prove a defamation claim, right? Especially when the declarant, the person making the statements, is a celebrity who might well have some fans on the jury or some sympathetic people on the jury, right? Who might not vote in favor of liability. So understand that this statement, in my opinion, is a cheap, gratuitous statement by an athlete concerning one guy who even guys like me who, you know, believe Floyd's the best of his generation, believe he ducked in his prime, right? Every fighter has one of these guys. Sugar Ray Robinson, Duck, Charlie Burley, I think everyone knows that, right? Every one of these fighters ducked somebody. Right. And my point is Floyd here carefully picks his words, wants to tar both guys 
He mentions Margarito. He then mentions Manny Pacquiao. He doesn't say how they cheated. He just says that he is not a cheater like Antonio Margarito and Manny Pacquiao. This is lame. This is bogus. Let's hope Floyd Mayweather spends his time talking about Miguel Cotto at Floyd Mayweather versus Miguel Cotto press conferences and not guys who, quite frankly, he didn't fight in his prime and he obviously isn't doing all he can do to make the fight happen now. Let me also say this too, and I'm a hardcore fan of boxing. You know, I'm so tired of the dodges on both sides concerning a Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather matchup that I've moved on. You know, the dodges have been ridiculous. I just don't believe that it's that hard to make the fight. You know, I think both guys, quite frankly, could somehow find a way to live if they were to make $60 million each on the fight. I don't know why it's imperative that one guy make $80 million, twice what the other guy's making. You know, and when I'm hearing stuff like Manny Pacquiao doesn't want to give blood before a fight because he believes it weakens him. Um, you know, Floyd Mayweather doesn't want to give any fighter 50%. Um, you know, it's, it's just not serious enough. You know, um, Floyd said, hey, fight me May 5th. Then we heard Manny Pacquiao is cut and the cut won't heal. We need an outdoor stadium. You know, really, at, at this point, it's obvious that these guys are dodging each other. They don't want to fight. I know the Pacquiao people believe that Mayweather doesn't want to fight Pacquiao. I know the Mayweather people believe that Pacquiao doesn't want to fight Mayweather. The one thing I know is that making the deal is not that hard. You have two multimillionaires. You have a possible pot of about $120 million. And you mean to tell me these guys can't sit down and find a way to just split it 50-50? Not only that, let's go further. Let's say neither guy wants to split it 50-50, right? Floyd claims that he has been in the bigger pay-per-view events. Manny Pacquiao claims that he has fought so many times on pay-per-view that there's no boxer in the world who has generated more viewers on pay-per-view than Manny Pacquiao over the last, let's say, three years, right? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So then why don't, if you know the pot is about $120 million, why don't the fighters say, give us a 40% guarantee each? The winner gets the extra 20%, right? If you truly are the best, if you truly believe that the other guy doesn't warrant the money, then why don't you earn that privilege in the ring against each other? But please, Floyd, stop with the lame comments mentioning Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao should not even be on your lips or come out of your mouth unless you're offering him 50% straight up, including pay-per-view, to fight you, right? And this lame campaign where Pacquiao's not even in the building and you're trying to link him to cheating, but yet you aren't even going to take the extra step and actually show us evidence, that's just lame. That's just sorry. This, this is ridiculous. You know, let's hope it doesn't continue because if it does, I guarantee you Mayweather is then going to start losing fans. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and theboxinggame.blogspot.com where we discuss outside the ring events. Thanks for watching.